Hi, and welcome to episode 9 of the Megacorp. We're getting raided by the Macho, tri uh, the Macho Nation, sorry. And uh, they will prepare and then attack, which is uh, quite foolish, because we have modern guns, mostly. Oakham doesn't. But um, the rest of us has, so let's, let's attack the Macho Tribe. My basic plan is uh, to shoot out whatever I can and then run back to the turrets, so... It's a basic and simple plan, and it'll work quite well, I'd say. So, I'm, I'm armed with an army of donkeys, so... Everybody can have a donkey here. It's pretty cool. Having a mount for everybody is very, very powerful. So they're mounted now, but sadly, somehow they unmount one day. Uh, they un they get undrafted when they unmount. So I'm going to retreat Mincod here. So her. Thing had a good range, didn't it? Yeah, well, okay range. So Theodore is definitely my backup plan. Rissa and Minkad are the people which will be up front and uh, fighting for us. Okay. Take cover here and see what I can do. Well, they're not getting anything here. So let's head over to the next cover. And uh, let's see what they'll do. I want them both... There we go. Alright, so we're going to focus a fire on this guy. There we go. First guy down. And uh, let's run for now. I'm pretty quick with those donkeys and... Uh, there's not much they can do about that. And uh, since nobody of my people um, got hit so far, this is a absolute win for my people. Okay, there we go. Beat that. It's a pretty nasty strategy, I know. Of course they hit. Hmm, let's see. Rissa. Lost her toe. How can you shoot off a toe with a bow, man? You can only do that if you're a true macho. Wielding a bamboo short bow of poor quality. Mm, well, whatever. Um, how well is your medical skill, Rissa? So, you know what? You're going on self tent, and I'm going to tell Rissa to. Um, Doesn't she have a doctor duty? Yeah, so... Obviously I need to dismount her before she can self-tend, yeah. Okay. But that's two guys down. Good trade. Traded a toe for uh, two downed enemies. Would trade again. So what about Robor? Do we want to have him as a new associate here? A trigger-happy psychopath. Well, we already have a trigger-happy person on the colony. I don't need two of them. So, blue comes with throwing stones. So, quite foolish. Go for another shot. And right away. So, Rissa patched herself up and uh, is going for some food. Yeah, that's okay. I'd say uh, the other two guys go for food as well. Minkot is uh, still um, healthy enough and well-fed enough that uh, she can keep fighting this. Okay, don't want to go against an archer without cover. Sounds rather foolish. Minkot is a good shot, so... Ooh, that one twack. Okay, let's just run. Don't want to give that guy even the chance of retaliating on me. Why should I? I already hit him. There we go. It's uh, 
this kind of skirmish tactics, which really uh, softens up our enemies pretty br br pretty brutally, as you see. Um, now they're attacking, but uh, what's left of them? Wow, look at that. Royal Aves? They are new. <laughs> okay, I have to interrupt this raid to take a look at these uh, beautiful things. So, uh, you get normal bird skin from them. So, okay, it's just uh, some more beautiful specimen of that. Okay. For the remainder of the battle, I'm going to uh, kite over to my um, turrets here. But I'm going to bring Rissa as well, because we can definitely... Uh, take down somebody while falling back here. It's uh, so powerful having uh, mounts. I consider Giddy Up as one of the most uh, broken mods in game, honestly, in terms of balance balancing. The only thing which uh, makes Giddy Up kind of balanced is the fact that your enemies can get those mounts too. But if your enemies don't have mounts and you do, it's a slaughter. But honestly, um, that's a historic, uh, pretty normal in history, like whenever we were um, having this situation like mounted people against unmounted people. This has... Uh, humans do that uh, since quite some time. Let's release the animals and I'm going to let Oakum uh, stand ready here. Okay, so um, did they kill my... Uh, Donkey foal? No, but they destroyed its front hoof. These animals. Well, Oakum will still like it, like her. So what's what's going on with Wolf? Wolf is incapable of caring. Slow learner. Good with plans. Good at constructing. Good at fighting. Well, he lost his ear. He lost his lung. Oh man, Theodore really wrecked him up. I don't I, I don't feel like saving this guy honestly. Rulebor ain't uh, much better than that. I mean Rulebor would be a good crafter, but I'm not getting there in time. So uh can somebody please take care of poor sorceress? But uh looks like oh well she's not even bleeding, so there goes the macho nation. Goodbye, machos. Uh, you put up a good fight. Oh well. Uh, change Rissa's medical plan to something uh, reasonable there. Hmm. I could sell Wolf, though. I'll just let this macho bleed out uh, there on the ground. Sounds like a manly way to die. No, I can't do that. Come on. We're going to stabilize this poor guy. We're not like that. Here goes. I'm going to stabilize him and then I'm going to let him lie there. The rest is up to him. That's more feeling uh, more proper to me. And Oakum trains some of her medical still skills there. And let's uh, tend poor sorcerers. Okay. There you go, Wolf. More than you have deserved. Well, there's a guinea pig. Hmm, are there more of them? I mean, this place has such a wealth of animals. Should do something out of that. Besides that, I have made my long swords. Um, well, there's only one art project left on the bench. Um, the smithy jobs are done. Is there anything on the... Well... Could do some things out of leather here. We are still having some resources for two more dusters. Here goes. 
let's do that. Okay. The other dead people out there, we're going to cremate them later. What about that grizzly, though? Did he kill a royal ape, or did they just decide to not really go for it? He killed a royal ape. I see. Okay, we're going to uh, get rid of that guy, too. But tomorrow... There's a wealth of animals around here. We're going to design uh, a a clothing a clothing label, I think. Let's see. I feel like I want to specialize in some kind of clothing here in this run. And uh, we had the the wish for some oil mongering here and I, I agree with that oil mongering sounds like a great plan there so wolf is uh, getting back on his feet he's a uh, he's a little bit starving can I actually feed that guy no I can't so I can't even capture him because I have no rooms available for that speaking of rooms so why is this uh, whole situation still not resolved? So, get back to work, you lazy slobs. Going to make some stones and then build that place. It's like... It doesn't feel right to me to... Uh, do the rest of the building stuff if there's still a wall missing. Like, a complete wall is missing. <laughs> so, Mincod, can you please take care of that? Oh. How cruel of mine. The automatic surveillance uh, turret took Wolf down once he stood back up. Cruel. But somehow amusing. So, um... Good. We had our jokes and funs uh, with that. Um, can you please get rid of this? Uh, I don't have any. Burning job. Let's, let's go for the burning jobs. We're going to burn everything which is stranger, but nothing which is colonist. There we go. And also we're going to burn everything which is rotten and animal. There we go. This is pretty valuable when you ever uh, accumulate um, rotten animal corpses. And somehow it happens. It, it just happens. And we're, we're going to cremate these human remains now. Put them to their final rest, if you may so say so. Um, okay, well, let's butcher that royal ave. I agree. Also, I want to take down that grizzly. There was something on my plate there with that topic. So, yeah, well, this is uh, a pretty time-consuming job here, but, uh, whatever. Um, how's Oakham's resilience here? Well, she's doing fine. Butchering such a, such a beautiful bird, man. It feels somehow weird. Okay, Mincod, um, get back to the art table, please, and finish your last sculpture. I want to uh, bring up a Karen pretty soon, because I want to go shopping. I've accumulated so many things which I want to sell. Like, or uh, wealth is steadily increasing here. Mmm, -mm, good quality light leather dusters. 200 bucks. Well, it's never really the full amount of 200 bucks, sadly, but uh, close enough. Okay, so Rissa is pretty uh, quick there with the research. I do like that. What up next? Um, coffee production. What's a factory without coffee? Let's research that. This is really important. Okay, I'm going to cancel Oakum's uh, crematory uh, duty here. Um, 
With this job, the problem is that it's really dragging you down and making you really feel bad. So, what's there? So I'm going to split that. Ukum's honesty. I'm I, I'm uh, concerned. This piece bears an illustration of Okum Zenmi teaching attack to a donkey as wild cheetahs look on it look on in disgust. The donkey is trembling in fear. The image is bordered by a thousand pumpkins. The work has an expressionistic feeling and a rectangu rectangular structure. This illustration relates to the training of the donkey. So, uh, what? Oakum's honesty consists out of uh, scaring the ha the crap out of that poor donkey. Do I understand that correctly? I don't think that this is the artist's message. If it is the artist's message, it is a lousy message, but I don't mind. So, Mincod, how is your artistic skill? Well, it's it's okay. It's not really enough to send you on a sales caravan uh, to get you working on the Garnet. Sorry. Thoughts got jumbled there. So, what do we do pottery out of? Iron cup pottery? Bronze pottery? Well, it's... Uh, keep pottery as a uh, as a definition of the form of the stuff all right let's go let's see how much money we will earn with some of that pottery I'm going to install uh, one statue inside the barracks here um, it's not worth too much money anyways like 100 bucks uh, it has a quite high beauty so Statues offer a pretty quick recreation if you are meditating in front of them or just looking at them, basically. Meditating is something different. Um, I want my people to be a little bit happier with this uh, ugly place. Um, speaking about ugly places, I can now... The dusters are done. I'm going to copy paste the builds of this bench here and uh, this one is open for deconstruction I like that so we're having a normal quality plain leather duster another 200 bucks okay I want to go for some caravan The people at Badger, uh, I think they they didn't restock yet. So, what's well, what's up with Akala? We never were there, and Oland, we also were never there. Um, oh, it's a little bit difficult there. Uh, Min Mincod was also my social person, so we're definitely going to pick up Mincod, and uh, we're we're going to bring Oakum as well. Yeah, so Oakum and Mincod will be traders here to be okay so get these the donkey riders some food and uh i feel like this time i'm going to earn some good money with the caravan the swords should bring some good money um i'm going to sell that rifle too and uh, some clothing, yeah. So, this place will be 0.72 days, this will be 0.9 days. This will be 0. Point... Oh, let's head over there. So... Encampment by the hill. Well, that sounds inviting, doesn't it? Theodore is stocking back up with the wood. And what do we have back home? So Rissa is... Um, the cook is still home. That's good. But Rissa is not on cooking duty here in special. Okay, I'm going to change that for the time being. Because I really want her to... Uh, Fill up my freezer in the absence of my other people. Okay. Forgot to kill the uh, grizzly. 
Yeah, well, we should be fine. And off they go. Considering the time of day, I guess uh, they'll be needing roughly half a day to get over there, but I guess less, because the estimated time to destination always uh, is uh, revolving around your time now, so... And this time, the resting time is already included. They're going to get there in no time. Great. So, let's wrestle down that grizzly. Going to wake them. We're going to take some food as well. And then I'm going to draft these guys. So, I didn't leave any uh, rideable donkeys in the base, but that's uh, no concern. The strategy is quite simple. Theodore is uh, ready with the shotgun, and uh, Rissa is poking the bear with uh, with a revolver. And she's going to run away from the bear while Theodore is shooting down the bear. Hopefully she's going to get a few shots into the bear before uh, he runs after her. And there we go. Let's start running. Compare speeds. 4.05 cells per second, even that wounded. So you see, that's why I'm fleeing right away. These bears are rather quick. And that's how you hunt a bear. Okay, let's butcher the beast right away. Cool. That was some easy bear hunt. Hmm, let's follow the caravan for a moment. Yeah, like I thought, they're gonna be there in no time. Well, donkeys are uh, only mediocre. Um, pack animals. We're going to get something better there. Alright. I want to... do some things during their, the absence of the other guys. So Theodore is also not bad on the artistic side. But he won't be able to do anything of, out of that. I also have a few more materials available, but that's not that important. So let's uh, come on. This, uh, let's finish this uh, living room area for now. Rissa has uh, cooked enough. I have enough food here available. Just want to secure the safety of my power here. And what's that? Kevin the Megalhouse. No. Just no. Get away. This is the some of the, one of those animals I definitely don't want to have as a pet in my in my area here. The factory louse. No thanks. Theodore. Can you please Stop doing such uh, inefficient things and uh, work at the foster table. Okay, that's better. Going to reinstall that table over here. My caravan will arrive any moment. Let's trade. Quite curious how much money I'll get here. Mm. 
So, hello there, people of Encampment by the Hill. Let's sell our stuff. 600 bucks for that. Wow, that semi automatic rifle. Um, was some loot or. Well, I don't know. I think the uh, U in there uh, marks the item as used and uh, therefore the value gets decreased. So, still 1k, not bad. They have a builder bot and the hauler bot tier 4. Man, 7.3k. <laughs> uh, that's going to take a while until I can afford that. Bushmaster M17S. Okay, and there's there are a lot of new weapons I never see I've never seen before. A shotgun Bandayevsky RB12, Smith and Wesson M67. Whoop. Okay, submachine gun RPG2, and so many explosives launchers in this game. So Remington, Eltex stuff. No, no, no. No, not too interested here. Um, what are we needing here? Quite desperately, our components. Back home, components are something I really need to get my factory rolling. Apart from that, they don't have uh, too many interesting things over there. So let's head back home to the manufactory. Oh, I didn't need components that badly as I thought. I had a lot of components. Whatever. You never can have too many components. That's uh, some experience I've made recently that uh, too many components, that's quite hard to achieve. None of these weapons were too appealing to me. So we're going to hunt down those guinea pigs. Guinea pigs have a very, very valuable fur. And uh, we're going to make some very profitable items out of that. Apart from that, I noticed that I should be uh, just saving up money from here on and uh, hire more employees. Because uh, right now, I noticed that this is the big one of the biggest. Uh, problems of this place that uh, I'm not having enough working force at my disposal. There are just too many projects which uh, can't be uh, fulfilled quickly enough. Like for example the art. If I don't force Mincot into the job she doesn't do that at all. That's pretty bad. So, Theodore, come on. Clean up this place a little bit, please. Just a little bit. To make it look a little bit less gory. Ambrosia sprouts, wonderful. So we're going to put a uh, growing zone underneath those. And uh, then I'm going to for a bit the sowing of this area and the game will then send some plant uh, guy over there as soon as the stuff is uh, done growing. So, just uh, couldn't stand it anymore, these last things not getting done since I don't know how long. So, uh, let's go for a cooler and go I'm going to go for two heaters here, one in this corner and one in that corner. And there go the overall winds, and as soon as the temperature control is installed, I'm going to reinstall the beds. And then we're going to have finally some, some end to all this nagging about awful barracks and whatever and whatnot. And then we can finally start designing the, the factory as it should be. We're going to produce wonderful things. 
Wonderful. Let's grab up the stones. Ooh. No, 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 no. The accidental deconstruction uh, order. Pretty nasty on the geothermal generator. Pretty nasty. Okay. I'm starting to remove the chunks out of my um, base area. Mainly because I don't want to have anything inside my base. Raiders could be hide behind. So uh, that's really important to um, prepare your home turf, especially when you don't have any real fortifications like I do here. And um, the leather starts to uh, pile up here. That's good. And there go, there go all the dead guinea pigs. Oh, what's happening now? Pots and bugs. So we are we're getting an infestation of one hive, and in exchange, I could get a tech print for artificial metabolism. I could get a power claw, or I could get a psychic insanity lance. And uh, there goes some mass mass die. Uh, ma mass extinction event on the uh, Aerofleet. I want to be there because uh, Aerofleet are pretty valuable and uh, if I'm lucky I can uh, salvage something here. So yeah both corpses. Nice! Okay, Chris is grabbing the other one. The thing here is just uh, Aerofleet leather is uh, pretty, pretty, pretty valuable. So. Since Theodore has an eye for uh, monetary value, you see, he can't uh, slip past an opportunity like that. Okay, so killing seems to be a quite profitable. Uh, thing here. That's uh, pretty concerning, don't you think? Alright, there goes guinea pig fur. But what can you do? Animals, they're all so tasty. Alright, let's drop the components. I'm really quite happy to have such a surplus of components because that means I can't just uh, craft away here. So, Minkard is back home and uh, definitely needs some uh, recreational time. That's okay. I want some hauling done here. There's just uh, too much stuff lying around. The barracks is now somewhat impressive due to the uh, items in here. Nice. That should make it, uh, make it a little bit le uh, less uh, hideous. Alright, some spare change at least. Okay, Minkot, please uh, finish your finish your art there. Mm. Rissa is vicious. There's a baby mega sloth there, or well, a young mega sloth. Why does the uh, cursor stick to my mini maps? Uh, does the mini map stick to my cursor so hard? That was a bug we had a long, long time ago with the Dubs mini map. Can't remember that one. I thought this was over there. <laughs> pottery, bronze pottery. Let's look at this. It's even having the failure of Theodore in its title. On this pottery is a depiction of Theodore Joe adding surface detail to a duster while covered in grime. The duster is intricately detailed. Okay, so... Uh, why is finishing a duster a failure? Do I really want to know? Whatever might be the case. Come on, Rissa, you can do it! We believe in you. Hmm, not bad. 
her shooting is uh, better than I assumed. Okay. And uh, I totally forgot what's the value. 100 books. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm going to make some pottery out of uh, stones here. Serpentinite to be exact. And see uh, how profitable this will be. No big uh, project there. So I want Theodore on the art bench as well. He's very passionate about it, and uh, I feel it's like it's a very fitting thing for his long-term career, you know. I mean, right now he's uh, really bad at that, but I don't care. It's just stone, you know. Let's hunt more of those small animals there. Not boom rats, of course. Gigantelopes. Well, I'm. I'm really uh, tempted to tame them, but I don't want to have more animals to take care for, which are slow. Could go for alpacas. They are carrying animals which are a little bit faster. Yeah, let's uh, let's try to tame those alpacas as well. Because uh, I also plan on selling animals in the long run. Well, I'm planning to sell all manner of things, as you have noticed by now. Okay, so Mincod is now no longer uh, so crazy about art anymore. I want Mincod instead on the cleaning duty. If there's nothing to build and nothing to cook, Mincod should min yeah Mincod should be cleaning this place. And also, well, I think for now. enough work to do but it's about time to uh, swap the furniture over to this place because uh, we're, we're ready to move in um, but until then I'll need some more steel there was some steel not far away from me I remember vaguely there no, that's also iron. It's titanium. There's iron, even more iron. So, turns out I have to uh, smelter some iron quite soon, I'd say. Okay. So Theodore is now following his uh, secret uh, passion of the of art. That's good. Let's see if we can earn some penny with that. But I, th I'm afraid that the uh, alpacas I'm taming right now will be way more valuable than uh, the pottery Theodore will be crafting. Wow, Oakum, good job. Well, animals 12. It's uh, certainly... Certainly quite impressive. <laughs> wow. There we go. Good job, man. Or ma'am. <laughs> no man. It's a man. It's constant uh, gender confusion in this game. Alright. So I'm going to check out the uh, Serpentinite Pottery and uh, then it's sadly already time to head out of this episode. Like, time flies, man. Time flies. I really enjoy the Megacorp run, even though we're just at the beginning. This is just, uh, I don't know, a very productive shack so far. But uh, I like the shack, you know. So there goes the Serpentinite Pottery. Artistic 3 by that. Poor 
serpentinite pottery is worth 48 bucks that's horrible just like the quality of those depressed divinity <laughs> on this piece is a depiction of a star surrounded by rectangles a pelican appears beneath the main subject this work represents patience <laughs> How fitting. So friends, feel free to drop me a comment down below if you have anything on your mind. As usual, I'm always super happy to hear from you, whatever it may be. And uh, also, I could use your help to make this video a success. Like it, share it on the social media, or subscribe to my channel. Whatever you might do, it would help me so much and mean a lot to me. And I hope you're getting back to the next episode when I, I don't know we're, we're definitely going to sell something or make something to sell but i think we're going to sell some animals pretty sure of it see you next time bye bye